So today I'm going to talk about something that I saw a very long time ago in this book. Uh, yes, uh, it's written by Amelia St. George, uh, so I have it in French, but I'm absolutely certain that it exists in English. I will try to find the link uh, to this book. It's a very old book. I have had it since, I don't know, at least I think 20 years, something like that. She's English, so I'm, I'm absolutely sure that it exists in English. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I saw in this book a very long time ago. It's these balls made in paper mache. So not the balls in general, because the balls in general, I already made them very often. But it's these, those ones, let me try to show you. Yes, those ones which are made in um, tissue paper, so they are much lighter and they have a strange effect. So you see here she explains how to do them. Actually, it's very, very simple. She gives the explanation here. Yes, so you must blow some balloons like those uh, in different sizes, so according to what size you want, of course and you spray some water so the paper will stay more easily on the balloon and uh, you put um, a sheet of tissue paper on it and then you add the blue in this example with some glue and then you add more layers she says that we must do between four and six layers I think that I made five layers, so we will see if it's enough. For me, it's a try because I already made a lot of balls in paper mache, but never just with the tissue paper. That's why I wanted to try. And I like the little transparent effect and very simple like that. The fact that it's very light, uh, airy. That's what I like. She says that we must use some uh, PVA uh, called vinylic, it's a PVA glue. What I did, I used some caparol, but any PVA glue uh, will be fine. So I will show you what I did anyway. That was my inspiration, first thing. Second thing, I gathered all the tissue papers I had in my house a lot there are different kinds don't think that all the tissue papers are the same it's not the case some of them are thinner some of them are more sturdy so it's better to take the sturdiest because if it's too thin if it's a bad quality you are going to end up with a torn paper this is kind of brownish paper this is another quality it's not really tissue paper it's more to pack Uh, also, when you buy stuff, that is things that I painted, it's not exactly tissue paper. That is some paper you find in the chocolate, so there is another coat and I peeled it off. I will probably try that one day. And you see a lot, even a paper towel like that. But I wanted something very simple and really some tissue paper. And that is for the toilet paper, you know. Uh, <laughs> I kept the, the packaging. Oh, there are so many. Oh, I should have made in red like that. Anyway, so I gathered that and I turned them in small pieces like this. In small pockets, I kept the remaining in case I would need more. And this. I made three. So I started with the yellow one on my balloon as you can see white and yellow the only difficulty i had while doing that is that i had a cat hair one or two uh, cat hair glued on it and as my finger were full of glue it was very difficult to remove and actually i'm not sure that now you see there is some remaining here and you see uh, on the camera i could see it uh, i managed to remove it on the camera we see it but when i'm working on it i can't see it unless i really have my nose on it oh here there is another one okay so i did this one 
I did. This one, it's another kind of paper. It's more for a kind of very thin wrapping paper. And I like the muted colors. And I tried another technique in a bowl like this. So why in a bowl? Because uh, she makes the other one in newspaper we, in a bowl. And that is usually the method we use. Very often we do it like that. I could have done it outside of the bowl like that. The problem is that the, when it dries, it shrinks and then it's very difficult to remove. So if you have to do it on a bowl like that, do it rather inside than on the outside because outside you will have a lot of difficulties to remove it. Inside it's easier because as it shrinks like that, it becomes smaller than the bowl and it's easier to remove. However, I had some difficulties. Why? Because I stopped my paper on, at the edge of the bowl. I shouldn't have done that. I should have made it uh, higher coming out so the glue couldn't uh, slide behind the paper. And I ended up with some paper at the top glued. That's nothing. You put it under water and everything will go. It's not a big deal. The problem is that it was difficult to remove because of that. And I had with a cutter to cut the top to be able to remove it. So it's nice. The underneath has to be uh, improved. I mean, I should add more paper underneath because it's not very sturdy so maybe I will go on the balloon to do that and uh, also it needs to be varnished maybe with the glue it will be enough because you see it gives like a, uh, a varnish finish the PVA glue but the result is not bad I, I would have preferred to use white rather than silver I wanted to try it's nice this paper is a paper that I found at Papyrus, Papyrus, I don't know how we say, it's a tissue paper and there are some sparkle in it, it's hot pink, I, I like that, if you want to find it, probably they still do it. I paid $2.95 for that, it's not very expensive, there are a lot, there are four big sheets uh, in it and uh, it's really nice, the quality is really good. Maybe you can check on that. Sometimes you go to 99 cents and you find some which are really nice too. Anyway, it needs to be uh, better finished, the bottom and the edges, because the edges are not really nice like that. But, but the idea is, is there. I am going to show you how I did that with these papers, of course.
to use uh, balloons to do them, you can also use um, some cardboard, you know, it's for picnic or parties, you know, and you cover them with newspaper and they become really hard as I made this one. I glued some uh, newspaper first and then I glued some tissue paper to make the heart and the motifs there, the colors. And then this one, I think I varnish it with some polyurethane. You see, I sand it at the back and we can see the newspaper through the paint here. And here I made also with some tissue paper and some um, petals. I glued some petals and I covered also with, uh, I varnished with some polyurethane. And you have something really sturdy. I mean things like that. So this one is a small plate. I, I, I'm speaking more about a bowl. And this is in polystyrene and this one where in cardboard. On cardboard it will glue better the newspaper than on polystyrene. But you can try on polystyrene too because it works. You must maybe put more glue on the polystyrene. Uh, those one, those one I made them a very long time ago actually. My older son and I, we made those ones. It was our first try, so you see, oh, oh, it's damaged the newspaper. I have to repair that. Probably my cat who ate that. But anyway, uh, that was our first try years ago because my older son is uh, grown up now and uh, he was then maybe four or five years old when we did that, so it's not perfect. There are some flows some air bubble but we painted it he painted this one I painted this one and it was fun and I kept them because it was our first try and it's uh, such a good memory I made this one so this one is only it was in a bowl in a glass bowl and only newspaper and then it has been painted and uh, I found these images in a magazine that I glued and then it was varnished with with uh, some polyurethane also because we see it's really very sturdy and this is some paper mache like um, a past so you see I made that in 2001 it was years years ago um, so that are examples of things that I made for the balloons uh, I had that in my stock but you know it's very difficult to find balloons uh, in good quality because i have this one too which are long it's made to make you know animals in balloon so it's not the right thing but i thought maybe i can try to see they explode right away i try to blow them and they explode so try to find a good quality of balloons because if they explode while you are gluing a paper on them it's not going to be fun just i wanted to say that okay so now i'm going to try to remove that from the balloon that is not going to be simple i will probably have yes because you see same thing it glued there so in such a case you know what you have to do it's very simple here it is <laughs> unfortunately i had to do that and so you see, I try, it's my first try of balloon on tissue paper. So same thing in the center, it removes easily. It's on the, it's on the edge that it glued. So that's probably why she says that we must put a really a sheet of tissue paper, the first one so maybe it doesn't glue on the edge however it was not so terrible it was rather easy to remove so you see isn't i love this thing so maybe i will finish the the edges to make them nicer but i love that and she says that it's going to lean like that on the side but it's nice because if you put some if you put some little candies in it it's like an invitation to take them, you know. I absolutely love that. And you know, this technique gives me ideas to do other things. You can also make a big bowl. You can use a big bowl you have in your kitchen. 
if you don't want the paper to glue uh, you can also put some um, how we call that yes there is also the solution to put some vaseline because the vaseline you can remove it with water it's um, easy to remove with water it's not going to stay greasy so that is something which is used in the molding technique my my co-author when i wrote a book with the guy named jean-pierre delpech he was using that in molding to unmold some plaster some vaseline or you can also use some uh, plastic film you know like the one you use in the kitchen to cover some food you put that also in your bowl imagining that this bowl is much bigger you put that like that you start gluing your thing and then you it's easier to remove however you will have maybe a little difficulty to remove the plastic film but it's possible i already did that it works but you can make different sizes that's why i like balloon because you just make a hole in the balloon and it goes away i absolutely love that and it answers a question that i have because i have a project and i didn't know how to do it i'm not going to tell you i want to do it before talking about it but it, it helps me that helps me a lot and actually i prefer the balloon than the ball maybe i put more paper here i don't know i don't know anyway we are going to do this one now so <laughs> okay let's see if it's going to be easy to remove oh you see incredible it removed alone so here it's not the same kind of paper i like it a little less it's more dull it's not as transparent as the usual tissue paper it's another kind of tissue paper but a little more opaque i i had that uh, it was in a packaging it was um, it was wrapping object that I ordered and I kept the paper because I liked the color and I thought that I was going to use it and actually I did but and I, I, I did a different project and I still had some remaining but for this project I think that I prefer when it's transparent more transparent here we can see the pink outside but not inside so I will probably come back with the coat uh, with some pink inside so we will be able to see it inside too oh just one thing i know why it's more sturdy here because in the middle between my coats i used i used a paper which is kind of a indian paper you know with fibers in it and it's a little transparent it's white i don't know if i still have some remaining here let me see no i think that i had a small piece but i don't have it anymore i must find more it's a very you know the the kind of paper you find uh, in the art and craft supply stores and they are made in india and they are we can see some fibers in it but it's almost transparent not completely transparent and I used that between uh, several coats of uh, tissue paper and I really liked gluing that it was really really good a little like rice paper you know it, it looks a little like um, a filter for coffee but with some fibers in it and I really like that and it seems to make the thing sturdier so that is a good thing okay so i find myself with these three ones i like i love this one this one needs an improvement and this one needs a finishing it's of course not the most incredible technique ever in the world i didn't invent that it's not my invention i've been doing balls in paper mache since years and i'm not the only one it is basically uh, this technique is basically the first thing we learn when we are 
learning how to do uh, paper mache, so nothing extraordinary. But what was interesting is the tissue paper technique. That's what I wanted to try since a very long time and I'm glad that I did. Thank you very much and see you very soon. Bye bye.